Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse in we're Alabama bound? Yes, sir. How many are you taking? I don't know just yet. It all be, it me, you can get on the truck. Get on <laughs> so just load them up, we're going. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let you do your thing, then we're going to get busy. I've been working on it. I'll we'll right. be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Okay, welcome back. You did good. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's a timing it. thing. Like yeah. passing. That's right. You're right. You're right about it. All right. Uh, this weekend, East Tennessee Classic is the 20th through the 22nd, located at Smoky Mountain Expo Center. Call Bill Daltrey, 423-836-3607. Showtime Thursday and Friday at 6. Saturday is 5. Alabama Jubilee, that's where we're headed. 21st and 22nd, Decatur, Alabama. Call Joan Kemp, 205-566-6090. Showtime Friday night is 6. Showtime Saturday night is 5. Brent Greider, Ryan Parker, and Chris Zan will do the, the judging. And we will be live streaming. And what we're going to do... We're going to have cameras around. We're going to do interviews of the winners. We always do several victory passes from down there. So what I'm wanting to do, interview some of the winners. Yes. And then we're putting together a documentary to remember when the final curtain fell in Alabama. That's a, that is a, uh, that's a long time. You won four. Four, um, yep. well, two world oh, championships and two world oh, grand championships over here. In there. Yep. I, and that you, know, you will miss it, won't I you? Will. I will. That's the first time I ever won a world grand championship. was there at that arena right there. Well, that was in the racking, right? That was in the racking horse. Well, I'm going to tell you, it's a, it's a sad thing, but it all things come to an end. I think the racking's moving to the CalSonic, and if I'm not mistaken, I think they're going to choose Huntsville to have Camp Smile a Mile. Okay. Uh, this show. All right. 
We got some other videos we want to look at. I want to remind everybody that I still have jewelry for sale. This is from Carol's. I've sold some of these items since we did this video. Uh, matter of fact, sold some during the football game Saturday. <laughs> like I say, it's getting close to holidays, Christmas time. Every, everybody wanting to do something. They, That's right. it, and it's a good time to do it. Believe me, it is. Get get you some Christmas presents. I'm still surprised I've still got them studs, them diamond studs. They are marked at a steel, and I do mean a steel. Them horseshoe rings and all that stuff, that's, that'll look good on somebody's finger. I keep thinking I want to get me a new one, but I've got one, but I wear this little one all the time, and I, I, I like it. so. But it, there are some good buys. Anybody want to get them something for Christmas or birthday or whatnot? Now's the time to do it. They're marked to sale. Every piece of it. <laughs> I'm ready to get rid of it. I also want to remind everybody, trail riding. In fact, you just talked, you're working with a horse now that yes. you're going to work and then send over there with the Todd brothers Todd's to... Brothers, right? That's father and son. Yeah. But they teach them to do everything. This is a good place to send your horses. Take, take them to Justin or Jackson, and they will take care of you. Believe me, they can get it done. That's a little, that's a filly that was out there, and he just went out there and put a rope through the halter and said, come on, I'll show you. She do anything you want her to. They do a real good job with them. Tell you what, it takes time and patience, but I, I watched them walk those horses through it and then guide them through it, and it's pretty neat. It is pretty neat. I watched one of these this morning, kids out in the field, and they had a teeter-totter. Little boy stand on one end, little girl ride the horse up there and get him to jump on the other end, yeah. shoot that boy up in the air. Up in the air, yeah. <laughs> That's a little dangerous. <laughs> a big horse, this is send him skyrocketed. But you don't believe it, you know, all this stuff right here is good for a trail horse because you don't never know when you're going to cross a big log or a tree and that horse know how to step across that and stand on and, it and get across you know, it. Well, you never I mean, know. It helps them. You never know. Yeah. Now, I want to bring up one other thing. We, we had a tribute the 13th to good friend of ours, Don Collins. Yes. But we went back and, and CJ found an old interview that we did with John, or with Don, and Lucky both. We had them at the studio, this was several years ago, but uh, you could always tell Don was in the building because of his voice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very distinguished. Yes. So here's an interview with Don Collins. It's our special guest today is Don and Lucky Collins. I used to ride. I used to ride, but Lucky took all the good horses, so I just quit. <laughs> Donnie was the last person to ride Mudslide Slim that we owned, and you the owned last Mudslide? person, the mm -hmm. last person to canter Mudslide Slim oh, boy. on the reverse, and he never cantered. And Donnie did that at Celebration, and then we retired him. I showed uh, when we first got into it a little bit, and then. Uh, as the horses got better and, and Lucky was doing so well, I just backed off, you know. I really enjoy watching her show more than I did. He's I love to watch him. Great, yeah. He's a great ground man and the best buyer in the whole business. The best buyer. The best. I he like can that pick too. a horse out like no one can. Well, how did you go about getting into the business? Lucky uh, bought a dog from this lady who lived in our subdivision. And one afternoon, this lady was out doing nothing and she stopped at a barn and they ended up buying two horses and she come home and told Lucky she said would you like to see my new horses and Lucky said oh yes I would this was with David Bledsoe down in Georgia and the next thing I knew we were at family night and Don had bought his first horse for Lucky when the trainer said Oh, it's a lovely horse, but she can't ride this one. We'll let her ride another one. <laughs> and uh, we the start, best horse in the barn. We started, we started <laughs> from there. He wasn't Don. He, he was a character now. He, he, he will be missed now, hey. I tell you. I, I really enjoy being around him. He had done a lot for me. 
I, I, I always enjoyed you could argue with him, you could yes. and then go yeah. drink a cup of coffee and argue some more, or go to a horse show. Don was just, he, he, he was Don, Don Collins, that's all you could say, he, he was he Don. He was, he was that. Yep. I want to remind everybody else that we also have uh, shows coming up in November, one in Shelbyville at the Cal Sonic, yeah. fall, best of the fall show for the uh, fall classic, and then we're going to the United Finale in Tunica, yes. Mississippi. That's going to be good. But I do believe we have some victory passes. Or no, we don't. We got a special bit. You're going to like this. I want to see it. Let's watch Mr. True Blue. Oh, yeah. This. Jake told me about this. He said, you know, we're not going to tell anybody we're going to do this. And I said, well, I sure ain't going to tell them. But I knew last week I was just munching it to bit to let this out. Yeah. But he carried the game ball. <laughs> Jake and them come up with it, and I'm going to tell you, now this was uh, really something. They said there were a lot of people really impressed with this horse. He carried her the game ball, and she's going to give it to him to kick off. <laughs> He went That's through full name. inspection, followed yeah. all the rules and the regulations, because it's one thing the walking horse industry does, yep. is we do obey the yeah. HPA. Woo! Look at there. True blue. I want to thank Jake Jacobs now for that, because they, did, they didn't have to do it, but they did it. And that's about as good as you could want. Jake's a big asset to this industry. And Spencer Nam did a great job. The jockey yeah. did a good job. I am, he's super good. They had them blue Raider caps on too. <laughs> I don't blame them. <laughs> Mr. True Blue promoting the Raiders. That's what, right. What, what more? That's, hey, what you I'm not, that's the way it should be. That's, that's right. The way it goes. You're exactly right. All right, now we're going to. The show in Alabama, Jerry, it, it, they have raised over a half a million dollars for Camp Smile a Mile down there. And well, we're doing the, I'm sorry, we're doing North Carolina first. That's my fault. Here's Ferrari 308 and Dahlia Smith. That's and a nice Kenny, horse right there. Oh yeah, old Kenny's saying, go get it. And that's Dr. Dahlia Smith, for people that don't know. She is a licensed veterinarian. And here's a great ride by Kid Can Do and Robert Dorch. That horse gonna end up gray as can be. Yeah. I want to thank my good buddy, Bob Roach, again for the video. He helped us out a lot. And here's me and Pocahontas and Allison Armstrong with Tyler Balkum in the Pro-Am. Allison says, now I won this thing, don't mess it up. <laughs> She's hey, that's a great mare a great right mare. there now. Real good. Jeez. A great mare. They had a good show over there. They did now. They had a real good show. Yeah, they did. And there's Dahlia Smith again for Smith and Horror this time. And the Paddock Master. I got a picture of the racing industry mm -hmm. called the Paddock. The Paddock. Nice horse right there, real nice. Dad is a real good person. Her dad is a super guy, nice guy. Oh shoot, Jail oh, Kenny, you can't beat you can't beat him. And here's a Georgia Florida line and Knox Blackburn. This is what's great about this. That horse showed twice. 
Yes. Showed it, showed in the. Pr Go to break. That's what I, I really like about. Yes. When, when you take a horse to a horse show, and you get to show him more than once. Right there he is again. This time Robert's in the saddle. It's an amateur show pleasure. Oh, Robert, he loves to show them horses now. Oh, he, he, he got a big smile on his face. Like as soon as he got out of the vehicle, he had a big <laughs> he smile on his face. Hey, he, he enjoys it now. Yes. He enjoys them horses. There's a lot of people in this industry that just loves to show. Baron Witherspoon. Yeah. And your buddy from South Carolina, Paul. Paul. Mm -hmm. He likes to show. And these women, they, they yeah. if they're not showing padded, they're showing flat shot. Quite an honor in John Allen Callaway for owner Beth Beasley. Tell you what, that, that mare right there is awful good. She is. She's a big black mare too. I'm I mean, tell good you size. what, by the time this next year when she turned that men at age mare division, she'll be It's gonna be hard to handle. Yep. And here's Mr. Farrell. This is your buddy Paul. Yeah. Now Paul's he, done a good job on that horse. Yes, he does. He enjoys showing a yes. lot. Oh, a lot of fun talking yes, to it too. And right here, it's the medalist in Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. But what more could you ask for? He said he didn't feel good a couple of days this week. Sunday morning, he called his grandfather and asked him if he could go ride the pony. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one that showed twice. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, the, the youth in our industry is just amazing because they can flat ride horses. Oh, yeah. And right here, Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs. Well, you can just tell the temperament of these horses, you know? That little girl's on that horse right there riding, that big horse weighs over oh, 1,500 pounds, mm -hmm. you know, just going around that ring and just taking care of that kid. Hey, that's a big horse. That's right. You know, no, no joking now, I, I would say that horse weighed a good 12. Yeah. But now she would weigh 100, 100 pounds if you put rocks in that's her right. pocket. You stand next to that horse, that's a pretty good sized horse. Yes, he is. He's a big, big horse. horse. Yeah. I'm just looking at how big Sci-Fi is, and I think he weighed 960. Yeah. But now he, he's still young. He, yeah. hadn't, he hadn't filled out and everything yet. So he's still got some growing to do. But now that horse right there, he's big and beautiful. Yeah. Right here, Super Bowl MVP. This is another one yeah. that showed twice. And BB can get it done now. They move over and make room. I'm coming through. Championship.
Hey, honored in Texas yeah. and Bob Adcock. Bob made a good show on his horse. He made a good show on both his horses. Hey, he, he, I mean, Bob horse did well. He did. He, uh, I'm talking to him on the, the phone when we was over at Don's Tribute. Yeah. Hey, what, Don, Bob just, he, he, he's got him some real good horses. Yeah. That go real well. There's your 15, two and under. Kingpin. He got, I know four top horses that he has. Yes, he does. I mean, he, yeah. he's got some. Now, he's got that Born a Maverick. Now, that's yeah. my favorite. I, I can't help it. I love that horse. He, he gets your attention when, you, yeah. when he comes in, and he just keeps going. Right here is Black Lister and Summer Brooks for Dwight Brooks, amateur stallion winner. Tell you what now, she put on a show. Yeah. She really did. I told her, I said, lady, I said, you flat put on a show that night. And old Dwight, he just tickled to death. And that horse would wear that bridle, boy. Yeah. Shake every step. And here, Twisted with Honors, and Allison Armstrong and Joe Manis, your amateur, amateur, specialty reserve winner. I know she, Allison really likes that horse. Yeah. And here, I'm big enough and Maxine Beasley. You know, that horse was reserved in the 15, two and under with yeah. Bill. and Jimmy McConnell for Jake Jacobs. Experienced trainers. I, I would say Jimmy is a little experienced. Yeah, I believe so. This is this tab, he raised. He raised just, just a tad. He, tab he just barely. Well, yeah. well, I talked to him about that. <laughs> he told me one time, he said, winning a world grand championship, said, that doesn't define what I do. He said, my Amateurs that win, he said, now that makes me happy. Yes. Here's, hey, honor and remember and Dan Waddell, one of Jimmy's protégés. Oh, yeah. Now, they was together for a long time. And that honor and remember, Kim Lewis, I just wish my name was on those papers. That's a nice horse. Yeah, he is, real nice. That's one of these horses that'll keep maturing. Yeah. Right there, Jose, it ain't so, and Jake Jacobs, amateur championship canter winner. I know it's that been around, nothing real good. I like that set of roses he's got. Yeah. Now that I like. Red, white, and blue, buddy. Getting it done, Jake. And then he comes back home and takes True Blue to MTSU. Yeah. You better do your job. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Did you get a call or message that mentioned Social Security that made you feel threatened or scared? That is not the Social Security Administration. Social Security will not threaten you, press you for personal information, or demand instant payment. Social Security does not accept payments by gift card, prepaid debit card, internet currency, or by mailing cash. Criminals use these forms of payment because they are hard to trace. Don't fall for it. Hang up, ignore them. Report this criminal activity to oig.ssa.gov.
Six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. I don't know who to believe. Me neither. Like, what does transgender mean? And defund the police? What do people mean by me too? Why do people keep saying fake news? My sister and parents kept fighting about that stuff, and now they don't even talk to each other. Hey, go to informyourcommunity.org and get the facts, and have fun while you're at it. Informyourcommunity.org? Yes, and this message is sponsored by Inform Your Community, a nonpartisan nonprofit. Get the facts and have fun at free virtual events. Warning, side effects may include laughing, learning, socializing, friends and family that talk to each other. More of What a Horse coming up. All right, now we're going to talk about Camp Smile. I was jumping the gun. But you know, honestly, Alabama has just... Uh, well, they, they do special things yeah. for Camp Smile a Mile. They, they, they have horse shows, they have auctions, you name it, and uh, there's not a lot of things that they have not done. But when you go to Alabama and you go to one of their coat previews or open houses and they start selling things to raise funds yeah. for Camp Smile a Mile, when you see a uh, strawberry cake go for two hundred fifty dollars. Banana pudding for yeah. two fifty. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it makes you realize just how important a charity is to people. Oh, yeah. I've seen them just bid just to keep someone else from getting it, but they have raised over a half a million dollars for Camp Smile a Mile. Now that's, to me- Oh yeah, that's, that's people that coming is, together and doing stuff. Like, it's it just people working together for a united cause no, and that's what it's you, all about. Yep, that's you're right. everything. All right, now we're going to look, go back. You heard a, bad, a blast from the past. Mm -hmm. I want you to watch some of this video we got. This is the last horse show this weekend that will ever be held in Morgan Arena. Right there, Pusher's Blackhawk and Carolyn Joseph for Anthony Joseph. Amateur four-year-old stallion, Texas De Niro and Kelly Sherman. <laughs> Look at there, my first dollar in George Ann Pratt. <laughs> JFK again, Janine Gullet. <laughs> High dollar charge. You recognize that guy? Steve Emmett. Yep. <laughs> Master Jazz, Jimmy McConnell. <laughs> Brother Splash, there's Virginia Stewart. Yep. She'll shoot me. <laughs> Park performance winner, Sky Starstruck, Ronnie Spears. Ritz Diamond Joe, Alexandria Holland. The Golden Sovereign and Joe Cotton. Oh, Joe. <laughs> the Dance Hall Doctor, Kelly Peavy. You talking about yeah. going back in time. Goodbye, Joe. Pro Am, that's Pro Am there. Goodbye, Joe and George Ann. There's George Ann walking around with John Allen Callaway. Empire Maker and Cindy Sullivan. Remember that horse? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Busted at Bonnaroo. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I look at these and uh, bring it back a lot of memories. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Robin McDonald. <laughs> Cam Smith. You know, when you go back and you think about, remember him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. That's Harry why Jack's I said <laughs> about these videos. You know, you can go back and watch these videos and they get you disincited when you watch them now and the day you watch them. Well, they bring, they bring back memories oh, yes. of every, all the good times you had and the places that we were and the shows. There's the mm -hmm. who. I mean, it just, uh, you go back and start digging out these old yeah. videos and you can tell them they're older because we went from videotapes to the camera hold it. I mean, one thing after another. Yeah. Digital. It just, uh, but it was, uh, I don't know, it, it, when you go back and you look, it just, it, it brings back a lot of fond memories. That, that's just mm -hmm. it. But now there's been some horse shows in that building right there. Oh yeah, they have had a lot of horse shows. In I that mean, building. some good ones. We've been going <laughs> down there since 2002. There's Jack Heppington. Yep. Through the years, we have run victory passes for just about everybody in this industry. There's Lucky Collins. Yep. Remember that Rocky yep. Mountain Sky? Mm -hmm. He was a good one. Robin and Bruce had him for a while. Yeah. They bought him from Lucky and him. I remember that man right there. Yep, I do too. Mm-hmm. It's Joseph. You remember that one? Yep. MVP. And would I would would yep. the lineman. Yeah. And back when Spud was still in the industry. I haven't seen Kelly this year, have you? No, I haven't. Rudy Rudiger. Mm -hmm. The coach and Joe Cotton. Justin Harris. <laughs> hey, look how big his son was then. Uh, Masadi. <laughs> Air 
Here's Herbert. Got one of his <laughs> girls in there with him. Yeah. That's too long ago to been that boy. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Greer's Dangerous Dollar. Richard was one of them that helped put the tree in, back in the warm up ring down to yeah. the celebration grounds. He, he, uh, he helped do it, and uh, I went out and, and uh, Steve Hawksmith uh, donated the tree and I hired a company out of Nashville to come dig it. And then we carried it down there and planted it right in the middle of the, oh, right where it is now. Yeah. We had to plant it on the opposite end of the old tree because of the drainage right. down okay. there. Abby Smith, <laughs> I want you to look yeah. at her. And she'd be doing the leading now. <laughs> yep. Boy, I remember that horse. Oh yeah, it was a good horse. Hal Newman. There's Ben. There's old Caleb. Caleb yeah. is the head distiller at a, a manufacturer up in Kentucky now. Okay. Sure is. You're talking about a good young man. Oh, yeah. Suzanne Moore. That horse, that was hard to beat in that show pleasure class. Man. Oh, yeah. He won a bunch. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Skywalks yo yo. Oh, I remember that one. Bacardi and me. Yeah. Phantom Menace. Boy, it was around for a long oh, yeah. time. Oh, Wesley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was a good one. Yep.
Remember that one, mm -hmm. this Hosanna? I am the rock. Jones. Now that's when Benjamin was yeah. a, in the youth class. Jail time. <clears throat> Remember him? Yep. Doesn't seem like that long ago, uh -huh. though, does it? I remember that one yep. well. You know, looking back at this, it's a shame that that place sold. And oh, yeah. There's Debbie and Socks Appeal. That's Diana. Yeah. When you look at these and you realize the years that have passed hey, and yeah. all of those that aren't with us anymore. You were right. It, it, it makes you, uh, makes you kind of wonder about it. Yeah. I think you got to do your job one more time. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communication. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much.
all right, we're going to go back to Alabama and look at some more because we we went back, or, or CJ did, and just watching this, it brings up a lot of old memories. Oh, yes. And I mean old memories. Makes me realize how old I am. <laughs> the Heisman, Mr. Heisman, oh, yes. Tim Smith. Everybody's interested in a table in Tunica, you need to call. They're $1,500. That's eight meal tickets for three nights. And Saturday night will be steak night. That sure will be missed. I tell you to be missed. This time of year, I mean, we'll, they'll have it in Huntsville, but it won't be the same yeah. uh, as having it down there because it just, uh, a lot of it had to do with the atmosphere. Yeah. And you know, a few years ago, they went in there and painted everything and, and it just brightened it up right. so yeah. much. Mm -hmm. It made it so much better and now, they're fixing to pour concrete where those horses are yeah. and make a warehouse out of it. Man. Boy, that doesn't jerk a knot in you. The Mason-Dixie line. Remind everybody this weekend we will be live streaming. Uh, Roy Wester has set it up to where there is a restaurant down there that's going to be uh -huh. carrying the live stream for some businessmen both nights so they can get a glimpse at our industry and uh, we'll be talking about the obstacles we face. So, uh, everybody. Be sure to log on if you can't be there. If you can be there, we want you there. But if you win a class and you want to do a victory pass, come up there and let me know and do an interview. Be part of the documentary that we're going to put together. Be a lot of remembrance, I can tell you that. Manning and Taylor Walters. Wouldn't be right if we didn't have Taylor in That's there, right. would it? You're exactly right about that. We need Molly too, but I can't remember if Molly ever showed in Decatur. That place got a lot of history, a lot of history. Oh, it does. That's where uh, a lot of people don't know it. But in uh, 1998, I believe, yeah, it was 19, 1988, 80. mm -hmm. 1988, when the industry was shut down, it was in Decatur, Alabama, in center ring that night. Brad and I were talking about it the other day. Yeah. They raised almost a million dollars that night to defend this industry against the attacks that it was under. Yes. And it's a, a shame the way it is now. We've got so, so much going against us. It seems like different trainers are being targeted. Yeah. Uh, it just if, if you're gonna if you're gonna inspect, inspect them all. If you ain't gonna inspect, don't. There's been so many ups and downs of the industry, and I want to encourage everybody to go out to YouTube YouTube Water Horse and look at the road the Tennessee walking horse has traveled. Look at that video. It tells a story from the start of the HPA 
and what this industry has faced the whole time. Taylor did well down in Alabama. Mm-hmm. She's gonna hate to see that place go as much as you are. I tell you. <clears throat> Uh, you're just going to have to learn how to do it somewhere else, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> but you're going to always have that remembrance in your mind the first time you ever want to be class like it. that. You're going to remember it, you're that's for sure. It. All your life. place we uh, showed Sly. Mm -hmm. He was doing real well until that boy dropped that chair. Now that was a good horse. Oh yeah. A real good one. And I know Roy Wester misses him. Yeah. A real nice horse. Florida line. Now that was before Bruce sold that horse. Yes. I believe that's the first time that Ali and Joe showed that yep. horse, I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe so. You 
know, especially a lot of them guys from around that area, like the Steve Beam and his family, yeah. Ross Camel, that family that was raised up, you know, in that More arena. Around there. Yeah. And stuff, you know. <clears throat> Jamie Lawrence, around there, raised up around that, in that arena. Well, you know, this show originated in Montgomery, Alabama. Yeah. And it moved, then they moved there. But it's uh, They used to have a the trainer time. show yep. there. Yep, they've had to, well, that's when they shut it down. down. Yeah, the, the trainer, trainer show thing. was mm -hmm. there. So it's, uh, I'm gonna tell you, it, it's a lot of fond memories and people, yeah. pe people are gonna miss it. It's a, uh, but at least it's going to be able to stay in Alabama and be in Huntsville. That's that's yeah. a good to me. That's a good thing. That show needs to stay in Alabama, and it. And that's a good that, arena down there, Huntsville. Yeah, it, it, it ain't is. nothing wrong with that arena. That's, that's nice it's just place. not the same as this, this one. one. Yeah. Uh, this one right here was a. Uh, there's Tomcat again. <laughs> this one right here was uh, at one time the rack and horse capital of the world, like Shelbyville yeah. is the. Uh, the walking horse capital of the world. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a bad cat right there. Yeah. Well, that was it. Yep. But I want to remind everybody, starting Friday night, mm -hmm. we will go live at 6 o'clock. Well, it'll be a few minutes before 6 when we'll go live, and we will be doing interviews all through it. We'll be talking to people, reliving memories. We might even talk to you. I talk. I know you can. Yes. <laughs> we, we may ask you a question you don't want to ask. <laughs> you say, what would you say? Well, I just look up in the air and mean nothing will answer. Like, I hope you didn't ask <laughs> me that. that. <laughs> People, everybody, if you cannot come, at least log on, because we're going to be talking about raising funds for the industry, the defense fund, everything that we're doing now to let people know how good our horse is treated. Yes. But until then, from me, from you, yep. you can tell them bye if you want to. I hope y'all have fun at the horse show. Come on out to the horse show this weekend and have fun and enjoy the last time they're going to ever have a horse show at that place. See y'all next See week. See you later. <laughs>